What's going on guys, Team Mart here, and today I've got some new Black Ops 3 information for you guys, and it has to do with the old generation of consoles. So, depending on which boat you're in, this is either going to be fantastic or absolutely horrible news. So, as you guys know, times are changing, things are developing, games are becoming more advanced, and the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 are falling behind more and more and more with every year that passes. And uh, you know, we, we keep hearing about how you know, Black Ops 3 is like the most ambitious project that they've had, and they've you know, put the most they've ever put into it, into this one, and stuff like that. And today, with the announcement of features on the old-gen consoles, you really kind of see just how much they meant that. So uh, there's a new post on the Call of Duty site. I'll link it down in the description. But uh, it starts off with Call of Duty Black Ops 3 is a truly next-gen experience designed from day one to harness the full potential of the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Black Ops 3 pushes the boundaries of the franchise to new levels across all modes of play on the next-generation hardware. And then it goes on to list some, some features and kind of like whole modes that are gonna be missing in the previous gen consoles because there's just not enough space on them, there's not enough processing power, that kind of thing. Like the, the hardware is just not up to par. And the biggest of which is that there literally will not be a campaign on the last gen consoles. So for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 players, you guys will not have a campaign. I realize some of you guys might not care that much about campaign, but uh, I think it's pretty cool and you won't be able to have it, which kind of sucks. It's gonna be multiplayer and zombies only. And uh, they kind of had a note about this. They said that the ambitious scope of the one to four player co-op campaign couldn't be faithfully recreated on old generation hardware. So they completely nixed that. Uh, also, in terms of zombies, they did mention that you will be able to play Shadows of Evil, but there is no mention of the giant. So I don't think you guys are gonna be able to get that remake of Darice. It's, uh, it looks like it's not gonna be available. It's gonna be, you know, just Shadows of Evil. I'm not even sure if last gen consoles will get zombie DLC. Like, as we get more zombie maps throughout the year, I'm not sure if they're gonna get DLC. They might, they might not. We'll have to wait and see. But, uh, at least, as of right now, it looks like you're only gonna be getting these Shadows of Evil, kind of like original Morg City zombies map. Now, uh, next up, they also mentioned that there are gonna be a few other features that are not available on the old gen consoles. Things like the paint shops, so you aren't gonna be able to customize your weapons like that. Uh, the new suite of esports tools you aren't gonna have. Uh, and some more features that they haven't mentioned this time. But, uh, yeah, so it's, it's really like, it's kind of, it's a good thing. It, it, it's showing steps of progress and forward momentum in the Call of Duty series. Like it's showing that they're really leaving the old gen hardware behind and we're looking towards the future. And that's fantastic news. Like if you haven't upgraded to an Xbox One or PlayStation 4 yet, I realize that some of you guys might be in tough situations. You might not have the finances in order and stuff like that, but just try to, man. Sock away 10 bucks a week if you can. Save it up for a while because you're really missing out. And, uh, you know, last gens are really becoming dinosaurs at this point in time. Like, they're going to become irrelevant here pretty soon. So, uh, you know, games won't even be developing for them anymore. So it, it's really kind of showing the change of times here, and it's, uh, it's fantastic news for the growth of gaming in general, not just Call of Duty, but games all across the board. So, uh, yeah, it's just, it's time to upgrade, man. I'm sure there are going to be some great deals at the holidays this year and Black Friday and stuff like that. If you guys haven't upgraded, it's definitely the time. Otherwise, you're going to be left behind. Now, there is a little bit of a light at the end of the tunnel here for you guys. If you are stuck on Xbox One and PlayStation 4 and you still want to be able to play the game, like the multiplayer is still going to be the same multiplayer, so at least you'll have that. If you want to be able to play the game, it is going to be reduced in price. They said they're going to have a suggested retail price of $49.99 instead of the normal $60. Bucks. So I think that's kind of nice. They're lowering the price by $10 bucks because it's not quite the whole game that you come to expect on next gen. So I think that's uh, a good move by them. But yeah, so that's what's going on, guys. Let me know what you guys think about that down in the comments. Are you still stuck on old gen? Is this really frustrating? Are you on new gen? You're excited because it's showing the growth of Call of Duty and showing that it's really kind of tailored for your console and you're gonna have, you know, get more out of it than you would have if it was cross-platform. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Check out these two videos. Good news. See you yet. Peace out, guys.